and welcome to this edition of Calf Chat. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit different spin on Calf Chat. I'm just coming off of the Dairy Calf and Heifer Conference last week. Um, great turnout, lots of producers from all over the world uh, attending the conference, so had a great chance to have some really good conversations, listen to some really good speakers. So just thought I'd take a few minutes uh, of your time just to go through some of the highlights of the event. Uh, we kicked off the week with some really good farm tours. Um, as always, farm tours are great to just really see what other people are doing. Um, the farm that I spent the most time at that day was a Jersey farm just north of Madison. Um, just really neat operation, um, looking at ventilation, how they take care of those calves, um, the nutrition. Um, had some really good talks about how much can you really feed a Jersey calf and how much can you push. Um, today they probably are a little bit more closer to the conventional side, but after a lot of great discussion, they're going to get some more groceries in those jerseys and see where they take off. Um, the other farm offered auto feeders. Again, auto feeders being really big in the industry, a lot of people looking at auto feeders, so it's good to see different farm designs. Uh, again, looking at the nutrition programs and how much do you feed and how do you set those auto feeders up to get maximum performance and growth and health. Followed into the conference, a great opening speaker, uh, Ruby, who really talked to us about the consumer. Um, she works with a lot of NFL teams and works outside of agriculture. So to bring her into our side of the world and teach her about agriculture and have her bring her perspective was really great. Um, just to show us how the consumer sees the dairy industry and how calves are raised. Um, followed by a lot of great technical speakers, um, you know, the focus is really nutrition. How much can we feed those calves to optimize performance? Um, I think the key message is, is that do you feed more? Do you feed less? Do you change it up? Do you use alternative proteins? Are you looking at alternative starters and grains? Um, but I think the key component is, is you really have to take a look at what you're doing at home and customize that to fit your operation at best. Um, our very own Noah Litherland spoke. I'm really excited to hear Noah speak. Um, he really is looking at more, I would say, precision calf feeding, really dialing it in and really focusing on calf's needs. Um, talked again about alternative fat sources, talking about just balancing milk replacers, um, amino acid, fatty acid balancing, um, dialing that nutrition right down. Uh, Dr. Van Amberg out of Cornell spoke to us about colostrum management, that talk that we've all heard a hundred times over. But still, yet today, um, a lot of places we still struggle in getting that colostrum figured out and getting it just to, getting enough into the calf, getting it in quickly, um, focusing on really good, clean colostrum. Uh, Dr. Olivet spoke to us a lot about respiratory in calves and the long-term effects. Um, utilizing ultrasounds on farm, how we can really look at those lungs and determine if that calf is going to be able to go on to be a viable cow and helping us make uh, early culling decisions. Um, as today's industry, we, you know, money is tight. We really got to look at what, where, where are the dollar is going. So does it make sense to have some of these tools and opportunities to look at our bottom line, save some cost, and figure out who needs to stay at our dairy and who's going to be productive in the future and who might need to exit. Um, great talk by Dr. Olivet. Um, we finished up with some producer panels. You know, you can never take enough out of a producer panel, seeing what other people are doing, what other great experiences. Um, the conference offered a really great trade show, 75 to 80 different people there. So new products, new hutch design, new pail holders, um, you name it, just lots of lots of cool stuff. Um, I would encourage you, um, Vita Plus had quite the showing there last week, I would encourage you to reach out to your Vita Plus staff, your Vita Plus dealer. If you've got any questions, um, contact Eric Heffenheffer if you want a copy of the proceedings, or feel free to talk to one of us. But again, I think the message is, is good ventilation, good nutrition, good care for your animals, and yet we're still going to get the best performance but mostly customizing it and figuring out what's the best program for you. And again, the best way to do that is to really use those people in your team and your support network to figure that out. 
If you have any questions, as always, reach out to your VitaPlus dealer, VitaPlus rep, and happy calf raising.